Hi! Today we are going to celebrate April 22nd. I have to tell you, this is a really fun day. And you're not going to know anything that I'm talking about. So come on and let's learn something new today. <laughs> National Record Store Day. And all you kids are going, what's a record store? Okay, let me explain. Music used to come on this disc. Oh, not a disc, but you think a disc. And then it doesn't even come on a disc for you anymore. You get your music by streaming it on the internet. So I have to go so far back, and let's just go in reverse because Today we get our music from online. We can purchase it from Amazon, we can purchase it from Google, whatever. From any online streaming. We can purchase it or we can actually just listen to it on our internet, right? But we can purchase it and keep it on our phone. Years ago, not too long ago, you would have to have an MP3 player in order to play that music. Now everything is an MP3 player. Your phone's an MP3 player, your computer or your laptop, if you even have one anymore, because that seems to be obsolete. I can't live without my laptop. Or your notebook or your Google Chromebook, whatever you have, has an MP3 player on it. So automatically you can listen to music almost anywhere you go. Sometimes your car even has an MP3 player built right in. You can stream live music on the internet in your car. <laughs> Seriously, I really don't know how we've come this far. It's mind boggling. And you would think with all this technology that we'd be so far advanced than the ancient Egyptians, but we're, we're stupid, but we're not. Because now they have to draw lines in certain countries that flash at the end of a street on the ground so that when you're looking at your phone and walking, you'll stop so you don't get hit by a car. Yeah, that's what we'd be kind of Before that, we had CD players, okay? Compact discs, they called them. They, whoa, that was the wave of the future, man. This, I mean, revolutionary. People were talking about this like there was no tomorrow. Everything's gonna come on a CD. Oh my gosh, how exciting. And it was, cause no longer did you have this little cassette tape that you'd have to pop in and re, you know, really, really try to find the song you wanted to listen to. Cause there would be like six songs on one side of the tape and six songs on the other side of the tape. And it was near impossible finding the song you really wanted to listen to, but then compact disc came along, CDs, and all of a sudden you could just press next and it would be the song you wanted to hear. I mean, wow, this was just cool. Before I had CDs, we had the cassette tapes, these little tapes that had, it almost looked like film and it had the music on it and oh, and they'd get jammed and stuck in there and then you'd have to take your pencil and kind of get it all in the little, they'd have these little twirly things. You'll see a picture when they show you of what a cassette tape was like. Crazy, right? Before that, everyone was crazy about eight tracks. Eight tracks, that was a thing, right? Because those things were big. Those were like big cartridges that like plugged into this thing in your car. And that was the same thing. It had long strip of like film that played music. Again, can't find your song on there. Okay, but that was a big deal because that was the first time that you could take your music with you. That you didn't have to actually like listen to the radio. You could actually pop in your own music because before that was what we called vinyl records. Okay, are you all right in there? 
vinyl records. Maybe your mom and dad still has one. I doubt it. If you can find a record store today, it would be really interesting for you to go and experiment history because records are history. It's also National Earth Day. Celebrate God's creation. I don't know what else to say about that, except for one, God created the earth, and two, don't anybody tell you that because you might be a Republican or a conservative that you don't care about the earth. I'll tell you what, as a Christian, Taking care of the earth is probably one of the highest things that God has commanded us to do, is to take care of what he has created. We are to nurture the earth, to take care of it, to harvest it, to love it, to keep building it. And I don't mean like building buildings on top of it. <clears throat> that drives me crazy. It means planting a plant, planting a tree. It means picking up litter. It means making it beautiful, making the world around you beautiful. So today on Earth Day, you can plant a flower outside because it's starting to get nicer and we can put those flower bulbs in or we can put the seeds in now. Hopefully we won't get another frost and you can plant a tree or you could clean your neighborhood. That's what Tavin and I like to do. William Schraff did something pretty amazing. He invented something that he encouraged everyone in the United States to send to the troops during the Civil War. It was his invention of the jelly bean. Yes, in 1861, he was asking Americans to send these sweet treats to the soldiers who were fighting in the Civil War as a way to kind of encourage them and maybe to, you know, get their blood sugar going and really hyper and be able to slaughter the other side. I don't know what he was thinking. You know what jelly beans are made out of? When you read the ingredients on a package for food, it will start with the ingredient that is most in that product. So what would you think? the first item would be for a jelly bean. Sugar. That is your main ingredient. Sugar, cornstarch, starch, and edible wax. Uh-huh, like beeswax. I'm not kidding. I can't stand jelly beans. They are the most disgusting thing ever. They're all, ugh, gross. Jelly beans, ugh. On this day in history. A supernova in the Crab Nebula fades from the naked eye, causing astrologers the world over to predict dire consequences. I mean, when things happened in the sky back then, they thought they were omens. If they saw an eclipse of the sun, these people thought, oh my gosh, the end of the world is coming. Remember, you have to think of these things from their point of view, from their time, they had no idea what was happening in the sky and what it meant. Today, we have a better understanding of what an eclipse is and why it happens, but back then they had no idea. However, this crab nebula, which was fading before their very eyes, felt to them like the world was coming to the end in 1056. In 1073, the great reform Pope Gregory VII begins his 12 year reign in which he attacked various abuses in the church and heatedly contested with Holy Roman Emperor Henry IV over lay investiture. In 1500, Portuguese navigator Pedro Alvarez Cabral Sailing far to the west during his country's second voyage to the Indies, discovers Brazil and claims it for the Portuguese crown. 
1823, London fruit seller Robert John Tires patents inline roller skates. 1838, the first ship to cross the Atlantic solely on steam power, Great Britain's Sirius arrives in New York after an 18-day, 10-hour crossing from Ireland. Now, during that time, that had to have been so exciting. Here we have a steam-powered ship. This is brand new, people. This is not like the cruise ship you go on, you know, like the Disney Cruise Line. In 1876, baseball's National League kicks off its first season with a win for Boston over Philadelphia, 6-5. In 1886, at noon, tens of thousands of settlers stream onto a 2 million acre tract of Oklahoma Territory to claim cheap land. Who wouldn't? In 1945, as Soviet forces close on Berlin, Adolf Hitler admits defeat to his inner circle and says suicide is his only resource. Happy birthday! Born on this date in 1451 was Isabella I of Castile. She was very influential in her own right in Spain. For 1870, Vladimir Lenin who was the Russian revolutionary leader, was born today. In 1918, Robert Wadlow was born. He was considered to be the largest, tallest man ever. And his height was at 8 feet 11 inches. Giant. But we know in Bible times that it's true that there were giants that were about 9 feet. So, hey... Don't question the Bible. Okay, and in 1937, Jack Nicholson, the actor, was born. My dad used to look exactly like Jack Nicholson. I swear, people would mistake my dad for Jack Nicholson. It was pretty cool. In Ohio, in 1886, on this day, seduction became illegal. Yeah, don't seduce anybody. I know kids are watching this too, so... What does seduction mean? I'm not gonna tell you, you ask your mom and dad, because your mom and dad are watching this and that's up to them to tell you that, not me. However, mom and dads, it's illegal to seduce people. This was particularly for men instructors, for teachers who were instructing young women that it was unlawful for them to seduce them. Women at this time then kind of coerced these men into marriage. There was actually a trial where this man was being tried for seducing one of his students. And the only way he could get out of it was by marrying his alleged victim. And the trial turned into a marriage. So that's April 22nd in a nutshell. As always, I pray that you will celebrate today and every day and everything that it has to offer, especially you. Celebrate you always and celebrate the earth today, this amazing creation that God has made specifically for you and I to take care of. His words are to have dominion over. So please take care of the earth today and every day because God asks us to. He commands us to take care of it. No matter what your political standing, no matter what you believe, the earth is important. It's a living thing that needs our attention and our love and our tender care. God bless you. And I will not see you tomorrow, but you will see me. Bye.